What is up, bull gang? What is going on? What is great in the life of a Taurus? Okay. <laughs> Welcome to my beloved Tarot. This is your first time viewing my channel. Hey, hey, hey. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing, and as well as some all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for your subscriptions and welcome to the family. Also, for everyone who likes, shares, subscribes, comments, um, share their portion of this journey in the comment section, y'all. Thank you so much for sharing that love and light. Thank you for all the positive comments toward me as well as the messages itself. Y'all, this is not a personal reading. This is general. From mid-July the 15th to the 31st, okay, 2018. And um, this will be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Taurus, okay? Intuitively, Taurus, I feel beautiful things happening for you. I also feel the rise of new opportunities, financial opportunities, as well as financial gains with cutting off something, okay? A lot of y'all are trying to hold on to a first or place of thing, or this could just simply be so with some of y'all the perception of how something is going, okay? I feel like a lot of y'all were not getting y'all way in love. So a lot of y'all decided, you know, if you're not going to marry me, if you're not going to do any of that stuff like that, you're not going to commit to me fully, it's time for me to bounce. And some of y'all just got tired of the person, okay? Or oh, this will be taking place between the 15th and the 31st. Spirit is just wanting y'all to be real with yourself towards the balance starts with you, okay? But I do feel like y'all are going through balancing. Y'all are balancing possibly... A lot of y'all walking around towards with a, with a poker face, okay? I feel like y'all got a poker face. Some of y'all got money put up or will be putting up money, okay? Uh, possibly leaving. If you're a tourist man, you possibly will be leaving a water sign female out of the cold. Uh, <clears throat> Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, okay? Alright, but Taurus, I see a lot of y'all are going to be focusing on your money. However, Spirit wants you to know you need to be gentle with yourself. I actually pulled the crystal tarot messages from the Doreen Virtue Day, and it said, um, the crystal angels message. You guys got Rodisacre. I look, I didn't, I, I, I'm not on here as an English teacher, damn it, okay? But I think it's called Rodisacre or Rotocrocite. Somebody put the, put the pronunciation of that shit in the comments, because. Yeah, I help me out. Can't help us a style. All right, but it says be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover, Taurus. I understand that y'all are. I see a lot of. I felt so much pinnacle energy. Some one of y'all or two of y'all have the, the the probability of like one out of ten of hitting the lottery this mid month June or July. I'm sorry, and I ain't gonna lie to you. I feel like for some of y'all, y'all been dreaming about it or having premonitions. You just felt it since the month of June. But yeah, you own to something, Taurus. Let's just, just tell you me the messages for Taurus. Can I tell y'all y'all need that balance? Taurus, come through. All right. <clears throat> All right. So, Taurus, okay? A lot of y'all money is looking good. Finances will be looking good for you between the 15th and the 31st of July, okay? A lot of y'all finna balance. A lot of y'all trying to balance love as well as money, okay? Some of y'all are trying to hold relationships or hold jobs together or stay. I, I feel like a lot of y'all feel like y'all have the world on your shoulders, okay? But ultimately, Spirit wants you to know to keep pushing because whatever it is that you're aiming for, whatever it is that you truly desire, you're about to get it. For some of y'all, it's an Aquarius, okay? Some of y'all are trying to hold your relationship with an Aquarius together, okay? And it could be due to finances, okay? But I do see whatever it is that you've been working very, very, very hard on towards, I feel like something is going to catch you off guard. You've been in your head a whole lot about work, okay? But I feel like you're needing balance, okay? You need to balance. A lot of y'all need to find the balance between work and love okay because money and love because I feel like a lot of y'all wanting to take a leap of faith towards a fire sign as well it will be wanting to take a leap of faith towards a fire sign between the 15th and the 31st of July some of y'all may be offering a very practical solid um or maybe receiving or giving a practical solid given a solid given offer, okay, to a fire sign, Aries Leo Sage, okay? But I feel like some of y'all, this person is the person 
who you truly desire, who your heart truly wants, okay? But I feel like you have a mental clarity about it, all right? But some of y'all, y'all will be dealing with the court system, okay? Some of y'all could also be dealing with a Libra, and I feel like this person could actually balance your, balance you out, okay? Some of y'all could be dealing with a Libra, and this person has been possibly trying to hold a relationship together while you've been focusing on work, okay? And you're kind of feeling a little mental anguish because this person possibly be is, is talking about moving forward, okay? And for some of y'all, spirit is wanting y'all to take a leap of faith towards love. Learn that there can be a balance between love and money, okay? Because y'all y'all can't die with that shit. Y'all be acting like you're going to die with love. You can't take none of them cars, clothes, money's in, <clears throat> money, up, nor the holes with you, okay? And I can talk to Taurus like that because Taurus, hey, boo okay, gang, y'all like the holes. And that, that, that is that, and I, I mean that with so much love, okay? Because I don't know what y'all call y'all. Uh, y'all little flings and things or whatever, but I call them hoes. All right, they're my hoes. All right, and yeah, Mocha's on this journey too, but I ain't never been. No, I'm going to always come to y'all loving, full of light, and full of authenticity. Okay, y'all are my family, so we can go there. Some of y'all are trying to balance a situation. Some of y'all actually got three to four partners that y'all interested in, and y'all don't know who the hell to choose because I feel like some of y'all could see you building with. Maybe one person. Some of y'all could actually see a family within another person. This could be an Aquarius, okay? Some of y'all could actually have a Libra that balances everything in your life out. Like, what the hell would I do without this person? And some of y'all just really, really, really got the hots for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So y'all let me know how this work out in the comment section, okay? <clears throat> yeah, Taurus, I feel like you have a you have a new practical offer, okay? I feel like you have a lot of burdens right now. Are you trying to, you carrying a lot of these burdens while you focusing on your money, all right? A lot of y'all are coming through as the king of pentacles. So because you're coming through this king and you're showing up with the heart from your own reading, you have, you're definitely having to balance some type of work and family life. And it's really becoming burdensome to you. A lot of y'all finna just take a leap of faith and hit the damn door. Holla, I'm out. I'm tired of this shit. <clears throat> Why is... Some of y'all could have a fire sign burdening you, or a fire sign may have financial issues that's really burdening you, and you're trying to hold your own world together and also help this person, okay? And you feel like this person is somebody you can build with. You want to bring balance to their life, to bring their life some type of karmic justice, like for the good, okay? So some of y'all, some of y'all, y'all have a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who, Scorpio, who you have maybe a very chaotic past, as well as children with trying to hold on to you. You want to hold on to this person and hold on to this relationship. Uh, you want this person to really kind of eat with you. You want this person at your eating table, okay? And I feel like some of y'all are definitely going to be putting in the work with this person and starting over with this person, possibly offering a new practical beginning or something material that you will be manifesting to the surface, okay, between the 15th and the 31st of July, baby. <clears throat> yeah, I had to light my little throat, throat chakra candle because I live down here in Houston, Texas, and I ain't gonna lie to you, my allergies be on 10, and with all this damn, uh, they have the damn pollen, my eyes was itching so bad, so I had to take a, take a day or so, you know, to kind of get me together. All right, so I apologize about that, but I'm really not, no, sorry. I'm not sorry for having to get me together, all right? So, Taurus, for y'all who feel sorry for having to get you together, that was for somebody. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry for having to get me right, all right? You hold on to what you want to hold on to, but God damn it, you can't keep nothing that don't want to be kept, and that's for somebody as well. <clears throat> I feel like a lot of y'all, y'all, y'all ending one cycle and starting another with someone, okay? Y'all learning to bring balance to a love situation, okay? This could also be work. Some of y'all are balancing work as well as taking care of your damn self, all right? Some of y'all, some of y'all will be, yeah, some of y'all going to cut off the Aries Leo Sagittarius as well between the 15th and the 31st of July because you feel like this person burdens the shit out of you. Some of y'all have a cancer that you crazy about, baby, and you've been thinking and manifesting and praying and, oh, I want this person to come through. Yeah, they, they coming. Some of y'all got an Aquarius on the way to you as well, and this person is just hot shit in your eyes like i feel like you look at them with the emoji face like mm. <laughs> y'all if i had my own emoji it would be something goofy like that mm. <laughs> fishy faces <laughs> i feel like some of y'all are kind of 
in your head a whole lot. Some of y'all are putting yourselves in a mental prison about having to leave somebody behind. But some of y'all, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Aries Leo Sag can't sit at the eating circle, at the winter circle. But some of y'all, it is a um, a Gemini Libra Aquarius that can't sit at the the, the, eating, the eating circle. But some of y'all, it is another uh, Taurus Capricorn Virgo that can't sit in that eating circle. Taurus, some of y'all may be leaving somebody in the cold. Some of y'all may just straight up go to work and don't come back one day. And this is strongly what I see. But some of y'all, yeah, some of y'all are definitely do karmic justice. If you've been going through a lot of hell in love and with finances, we're trying to balance all of that out at once. And you've just been watching towel moment after towel moment after towel moment. There's there's a a turn in karma for you coming between the 15th and the 31st of July, okay? A lot of y'all are asked those or are being asked to move forward and chase your dreams choose you okay whatever it is that you're working on that you've been working on take that leap of faith and do it big okay you've been feeling that because guess what it's victory okay there is victory in doing so however you're gonna have to leave somebody out in the cold and when you do so because you already been wondering do i want to put this shit down or do i want to continue moving forward what the hell do i want to do you put in a lot of hard work, and the fact that you're going from the seven to the eight, and you start out, and your your outcome up here is the king, baby. You manifest it, and it's coming in very fast. Everything that you want, as well as love, okay. So a lot of y'all finna have a new divine love or a new starting love, or either this is either a new or renewed love. If you've already been dealing with a water sign, some of y'all may be actually hashing things out and bringing something material to the planes of this person's life, okay, because I feel like a lot of y'all feel like y'all leaving somebody out in the cold, okay, but some of y'all, y'all don't leave a motherfucker out in the cold, straight up, all right, but I do feel like for some of y'all, if you have a family with a water sign, this person is safe, okay, because you know that this person is your soulmate, so some of y'all going to actually start over in a very, very, very passionate, okay, very passionate way, all right, so you have the Ace of Cups, you have the Ace of Wands, you have the Ace of Pentacles, honey, I mean, it, you have the nine of cups, honey. What? You have the six of cups, honey. Taurus, you have everything that your heart could possibly desire. My baby, what is you crying for? Be gentle with yourself. Get yourself out this mental prison, okay? You know what's best for you. Everybody can't eat at the winner's circle, period. Everybody can't eat with a G. You a, you an M F and G, okay? Everybody can't eat with an M F and G. Sometimes they has gotta eat grilled cheese sandwiches, and that's okay, Taurus. They still eating shit. For a lot of these people, they put themselves in this predicament, all right? Y'all getting away from people with this old victimized ass mindset. That will be ending between the fifteenth and the thirty first of uh, July. Taurus is moving forward with no fucks, having victory and doing so as long as they're following what their hearts truly desire. And that's what I have for y'all. Between the 15th and the 31st of July. If you need that personal reading, hit me up in my inbox. Email me. All of that information can be found within the description. Y'all, come on. Do not inbox me talking about, um, uh, Taurus, I just noticed. I, I, I told y'all y'all for it, you know, but I didn't show y'all. Yeah, balancing. You see that? Some of y'all is definitely going to be leaving a water sign female. I, this big head glare my camp. Bam, there it is. Some of y'all is definitely going to be leaving a water sign female, possibly a mother. Out in the cold, okay. Some of y'all playing, some of y'all dealing with this person with a poker face anyway. But y'all getting y'all together, y'all y'all gathering y'all well. But you need to have balance, balance, balance within doing so, okay. See this hierophant here? It's crazy. Y'all got all these damn balance cards too. Balance, 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 balance. You needing balance, and I feel like. It starts with you. It's more internal. External, you got a poker face. Internally, you screaming inside. Like a freaking kid who ain't get what the hell they want on Christmas. And that's all the hell they've been thinking about since their birthday in March. Okay? Like, acting a plum nut fool. You understand? So, <laughs> this will resonate with a few. But I pray that you guys enjoyed your messages for uh, mid-month July. I love y'all very, very, very much. And if you need that personal again, hit me up. Yeah. Toodles, boo.